Hello, hello, welcome back. Happy Friday. It's another Friday Harp stream. Just a regular stream today, no theme. So I'll be choosing songs for the first half or so, and then we'll do requests a little bit later. And then after that, we also have a new video premiere of Snowden Town from Undertale right after stream. So we'll, we'll do that together afterwards. Uh, but good to see you, everyone. Neri, Caladrius, Pengi, Annie, and Bob, and Brandroid. Good to see you guys. Hope you're doing well. I guess I have a sweater I could put on if I wanted to, but I always get really warm like when I'm getting ready for stream and like when I'm streaming, so I was like short sleeves, yeah, that'll be good. Now my hands are cold. <laughs> Can't win. <sighs> I also feel like my arms feel like weirdly tired today, but you know, sometimes that's just how it is. Ellen, welcome back, PJ, Moderato, Monado, hello, hello, welcome back, good to see you guys. some Xenoblade to start. Let me just bring it up here. Okay. Um, let's do... I feel like I always play Aerith C, so let's play something else. <laughs> let's maybe do um, Where We Used to Be from Xenoblade 2. Let's maybe try that. Ectovast, welcome back. How has my week been? Um, I've, I've been a little low on energy this week. I'm like definitely ready for a break. <laughs> I'm going to be taking a couple weeks off um, around Christmas and New Year's, so I'm ready for it. Um, but uh, besides that, not bad. Not bad. Whoops. Hold on. <laughs> Thank you. 
good to see you. How has everyone else's weeks been? I, uh, finally, I got a couple of my Christmas presents wrapped. Still have quite a few to do. Did some baking last night. Um, yeah. It's been busy. I, I also had to take Nora to the vet um, on Monday because she's been over grooming. But she's a little bit secretive about it, so we didn't realize it was happening. It's clearly been going on for a while. So, but she has some medicine, so we've been giving that to her. She's been very good about taking it. Um, it's these little pills. Unfortunately, they're flavored to taste like a treat, so she's not here right now, but <laughs> she's upstairs. But I just put them down, and she just gobbles it up like it's a treat. And I'm like, oh, thank God. <laughs> don't have to force it down her throat or anything. Because <sighs> I don't need to stress her out anymore. Um, what are my favorite Christmas cookies? I, to be honest, I don't bake very often. I feel like I have been more lately because I've just been craving cookies, but like I have a chocolate chip cookie recipe that I really, really like. So I made some of those. We're gonna make some chocolate crinkle cookies. They're the kind where it's like chocolate and then they're, you coat them in icing sugar or confectioner's sugar. And then when they bake, they like expand and they like crack. So they have like a cool kind of effect. Um, I do enjoy those. Uh, my sister often makes biscotti as like Christmas gifts. I really enjoyed her. I think she did like a, a score, like caramel um, biscotti last year, which I really enjoyed. Um, but I don't know. I find with sugar cookies, one year Eric and I made them. We didn't have any almond extract on hand. We just used vanilla extract. And I actually liked it way more than like a normal sugar cookie. So I have to say like... A vanilla sugar cookie instead of like with the almond flavor. I do really enjoy that as well. Um, I especially enjoy sugar co cookies if they've been frosted. <laughs> but I kind of like most cookies. So if you hand me a cookie, I will not complain <laughs> about what kind it is. Fairy shark. Yes, I got my hair cut. I did. I'm really enjoying it. I think it's nice. It feels very fresh. So. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Uh, let's do Crimson Lothwing. I'm in the mood for it.
kind of slow this morning. Ooh, butterscotch cookies. That sounds great. Can I have some? <laughs> oh, gosh, I, we, the baking we did last night is like for gifts for people. And I'm just like, I'm just eyeing them in the container. I'm like, I want to eat them. I don't want to give them away. But I should, I should, I will. But they just, they're so fresh and delicious. Uh, I, we did, me and Eric did split one of the fresh chocolate chip cookies straight out of the oven. Well, a few minutes out, out of the oven, so it wasn't like burning hot, but like, you split it in half. You have the gooey chocolate chip cookie moment. Yeah. That's the good stuff, you know? The sweet tooth is strong. Yeah. I get that. I get that. I do feel like my sweet tooth has like chilled out slightly in the last maybe, I don't know, since I was like a young adult. I guess I'm still a young adult, but I'm like my early 20s and when I was a teenager and a kid. I had a very strong sweet tooth. It's like chilled out a little bit, but I still do love sweets. You're gonna make some gingerbread people this year? That's awesome. I am going to attempt next week to make a Yule Log cake with my friend. I expect it to go pretty disastrously, um, but I've never tried it before. It seems very involved, but I'm like, you know, gotta try at least once, you know? Anyway, next um, I want to do Rosalina in the Observatory. That's what I'm feeling next. <laughs>
Selena in the observatory. Nathan, glad you're here, less glad you're sick, but thanks for joining us. Gabriel, hello, welcome back. Yes, I will I will try to remember to post pictures of the Yule log. Um, I will try to remember. But uh, fingers crossed it doesn't look like an abomination. Also, Caladrius, thank you so much for gifting a membership. Really appreciate that. Um, yeah, but it's going to be so the Yule log. It's going to be a matcha Yule log because my friend <laughs> ordered too much matcha powder for something else that she was making. So I think she made a matcha cheesecake, but there's too much left over. So I don't, I don't really know what matcha tastes like, to be honest, but I, I don't know. I'm just kind of like going in with an open mind. It may, it may be a bit of like a disaster. Um, a few years ago, for my birthday, <laughs> me and Eric, I have this like Pikachu-shaped cake pan from when I was a kid, <laughs> and so for my birthday we made a Pikachu cake, and then I iced it. I didn't use any proper tools at all, I just used a knife, and it looked kind of cursed, but it was very funny. <laughs> Well, I think that the matcha will also be mixing with chocolate. I don't know. I think the idea is that it looks like a moss-covered log or something like that, so we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. I don't know. I don't think it's that weird if they're green. Personally, I'm like, I don't know. There are ingredients that are green. Like, you could have like a... I wonder what a taro cookie would look like or taste like, because then it'd be purple. Yeah, so I mean, it's not gonna be, I'm not gonna be drinking matcha, it's just like, gonna be part of the flavor of the, of the, of the cake. <laughs> I don't know, well, I'll find out if I like it, but... Tarot cookies are usually white? Okay, well, that's fine. A Luigi log. <laughs> okay, that's, that's very funny. Just put a big L in the middle. I mean, I guess if it ends up looking really terrible and we need to save it somehow, then um, that's what we can do. Just make a Luigi L and be like, it's a Luigi cake now. <sighs> yeah, that's that's a good plan. I like it. Um, what to play? What to play? You know what? I haven't played the Genshin Impact theme song in a long time. I think we'll give that a go. <laughs> Eat your cookies in the dark. There you go. Or the cake.
sounds fun. It sounds so nice on harp. <laughs> if you eat cookies in the dark, your body cannot see the calories go in. Therefore, you won't gain weight from the, this action. Oh, that's such a good life hack. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for the hot tip. Yeah, it's Christmas party season. So I guess we just need to have all of our Christmas parties and gatherings in the dark. Uh, eat our food in the dark and then we don't have to we don't have to worry about counting calories because you can't see them anyway. <laughs> Sounds dangerous though, I have to say. Alright. I think I will pick one more song and then We'll switch to requests. That's why we celebrated in the darkest days of the year. This was thought out. Good thinking. It's just too bad for everyone in the, sun, uh, the southern hemisphere. Where it's light out. They won't be able to use this life hack, unfortunately. I don't know what to play. Maybe, um, let's do To the Moon. I feel like singing this morning, so let's do, let's do Everything's Alright. Alright. I actually cannot remember what I named the stream today, because I made it yesterday. <laughs> Thank you. 
I feel like every time I second guess, I'm like, is it he said first or she said? Can't remember. I think I got it. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I know. I made the stream title on Wednesday. That's true. Okay, it's it's harp music to watch the snow fall too. I think I was like hoping that it would snow some more. I think that's why I named it that way. <laughs> I'm just like, we have a little bit of snow. I will be really sad if it melts before Christmas because I don't think I've ever had a not white Christmas. I live in Winnipeg and it's 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 cold and wintry here. Um, but we just haven't had very much precipitation. There's none in the forecast. We have a couple of days that are going to be above freezing, and I'm just like, please, please don't melt all of the snow. Please. I'll be very sad. Ah, <sighs> okay. All right, well, I'm ready to take some requests, so... Um, if you have something you'd like to hear, you can put it in the chat. Um, if you're new or you haven't been here in a while, um, the way we do requests is you just type them in the chat. Um, for various reasons, I can't always play every request, so thanks in advance for being cool about it. And um, basically, video game music, anime music, a little bit of Celtic music is usually kind of our favorite stuff to play. Um, I do need to be able to access sheet music in order to play it, so that's kind of the one caveat. How about some good riddance? Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. Okay, yeah, Neri, I'll give you a request of the try today. <laughs> For sure. Okay. Uh, okay, let's do... Let's do good riddance first. <laughs>
It's interesting. Like, so I've been taking voice lessons for the last couple of months. I'm going to continue in January. It's been really fun. Um, but one thing, it, like, I feel I can really feel myself singing differently in some of the lower registers because, like, I went to my first lesson and she was like, can you sing in your chest voice? And I was like, I don't know what that means. <laughs> so, but I've gotten a lot better at singing with like the lower resonance, um, which is nice. It was really interesting thinking back to like the Down by the River cover that I did with Julia in the summer. There was like a few harmony lines that were like kind of in and around like middle C. It was like, down, down, down by the river or something like that. But I was just like, I could not. I was like, down, down, down. And I was like, I don't know why this sounds so like weird <laughs> instead of singing it like in the chest voice. So, so it's been, it's been interesting. Um, but yeah, <clears throat> thank you. After taking singing lessons, I found I didn't want to sing whilst sitting. <laughs> I I do find I don't really mind singing while sitting, but I it's interesting because sometimes I'll like practice singing and like accompany myself on the piano, and I sing so much worse when I accompany myself on the piano. I guess it's just because my attention is divided. I don't know, but it's really interesting. Um, but yeah, I I really like my singing teacher. I think she does a really good job of like kind of help you figure out how to use your anatomy <laughs> because it is weird right it's like controlling the inside of your mouth is not something we do kind of otherwise so uh okay oh p.s alvi i actually saw her live at uh uh the harp congress the world harp congress um in 2022 that was only a year and a half ago but yes she was awesome. I really liked her. She was really cool. Um, requests. Okay. <laughs> so let me let me go and find the request that Neri wanted a couple weeks ago, and I didn't search correctly. Okay. So it's labyrinth. I'm like, how do you spell labyrinth? I keep having to... La okay. Normally I'm pretty good at spelling, but... So, Tokyo... Mirage Sessions. Let's see what I can find. Let's see if I can do the search correctly. Please, internet. Please load the sheet music. Why are you doing this to me? Because I'm like, I'm pretty sure I found the correct link, but now it's just blank. And I don't know if MuseScore is just... I'm wondering if maybe MuseScore is having problems this morning. Or if it's just my internet. I'm not sure. But I'm streaming, so theoretically the internet should be fine. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm not... MuseScore is not loading for me. Which is unfortunate. Um, yeah, so I think we'll have to not do that, unfortunately. Oh, Salvia. Did I say her name wrong? Sorry. Uh, um, but, uh, yeah, okay. I guess MuseScore is not going to be helpful for us today. Um... Okay, let me see what else we had requested. Okay, Brandroid wants me to try Chain Attack from Xenoblade 3. Well, we'll give it a try. I don't know how it sounds. So it'll be, and I, I'm not gonna be able to play it at speed, I can tell you that much, just looking at these 16th notes. <laughs> We'll make like a chill hard version. Um, <laughs> we'll give that a try. Yeah, I don't know what's up with me score. We can maybe try it again in a few minutes, but I don't know. Chain attack ready, chill attack. Yes, exactly. All right, let's 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 give it a go. We're gonna see what happens here.
to do a loop back but okay interesting I don't know how much it sounded like the original but <laughs> I think it sounded nice for most of it um, but anyway it's an interesting request so thank you <laughs> next volume of play to sleep will be combat themes <laughs> could be an interesting an interesting theme <laughs> <clears throat> okay, let me let me see if MuseScore will load. Um, oh, there it is. I guess it just had a weird blip. So, okay, we'll give a try to the Labyrinth from Tokyo Mirage Sessions from the Fire Emblem one. Okay. Uh, hang on. This is not the right one. I'm pretty sure. I'm like, no. <laughs> Labyrinth. Okay. I think I must have clicked away from the page I was on. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that was the right one now. <laughs> All right, okay, we're gonna give this a try. This is also gonna be a little under speed, but that's okay. <laughs>
a great job with a lot of the rhythm, but it's a, it's a cool tune, I like it. Yeah, I would agree with you, Neri. Like, I think it, I think it definitely could sound really cool on the harp, but I think just as is, it's a little hard to sight read, I think is really the only thing. And I think given a little more time to like actually learn the rhythm, it'd probably be fine. <laughs> but uh, I think like there's sort of two sections. I think the first section is like really, really nice and really easy. Well, not easy, but like very doable. The second section is just a little more complicated, I think is all. So that's not a bad thing though. Cool. Okay. Um, Okay, so we had a request for the Morrowind theme, so why don't we take a look at that. By the way, also, I haven't mentioned it since the beginning of stream, but we do have a video premiering right after stream. Um, so I think I set the premiere to be at 12.05 today, so we have time to like finish up, play our Lon Lon Ranch at the end, etc., and then head over to the premiere page. Just a short one today, um, but I don't know. It just like, now that it's like, kind of the routine to like premiere a video after stream just like randomly uploading it just seems weird <laughs> no um okay i'm just gonna check i saved this no Okay. Hang on. Okay. I just wanted to check if Morrowind was on um was on Vici Lee Cheats, but it's not. That's okay. How often do pedal gut strings break? It really depends. Um sometimes they'll break a month after you put them on. Uh sometimes they'll last for years, so <laughs> Um, I think most professionals recommend changing them like every year, but that's really expensive uh, and I'm not made of money. So currently I don't do that. <laughs> Usually if they serve, if they have survived for five years, then I'm like, okay, it's time to change them. That's maybe pushing it, but I don't know, dude. They do be expensive. Joanna, good to see you. Welcome back. All right. We're going to do a Morrowind theme. Next. still has some original bass strings from 20 years ago. I have heard people say like, you know, you can leave the bass strings on for longer. For me, I'm like at, at 10 years, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna switch these out, I think. Although I have to say on my Venus harp, my, my first harp that I got, I've never changed the bass strings on there. Even though they're like so old and tarnished, I just, I just never did. I was like, you know, it's fine. But, I don't know. So, um, so Neri asked, do you know how old each of the strings is then? Yeah, so whenever I replace a string, I have like a Google Sheet um, for each of my pedal harps. Anyway, I don't do that for my lever harps, but um, every time I replace a string, 
I write down when I changed it and um, also like how many strings of each type I have so that if I reach zero or I only have one left or I have half of one left, then I know, okay, it's time to order a new one of these. Um, so that way, yeah, I can look back and be like, okay, these ones are from this year. I should change these. Actually, I should be doing that. I think I do have at least a couple strings on here that are from 2018. So <laughs> I think I went through and replaced the five-year-old strings like a couple years ago, but should be doing that again. <sighs> strings are just so expensive. It's very sad. <laughs> like, I think I broke like one of these strings a few weeks ago or a month ago or something and to buy a new one was like $70 with the shipping. It was, it was kind of nuts. But, okay, I think we have time for like one more request and then Long Long Ranch and then we have to go to our, our um, premiere. <laughs> Will there be another stream for string replacement? Maybe. It is fun, but I usually don't get anything done when I'm doing that. <sighs> okay. Um, a while ago, someone requested Flightless Bird American Mouth, which I don't know if you're still here, but I will play it. Um, this one, the lyrics are hecking weird, but, but you know, if you have it on the harp, then you don't have to hear the lyrics. The melody is very cute. song and everything. Um, I also just realized I never pinged the Discord today, but that's fine. I feel like most of y'all know when stream is happening, so. Okay, so we are going to um, finish off, as usual, with Lon Lon Ranch. But before we do, I do want to say thank you very much for being here. 
Um, I always have so much fun uh, here on Fridays, so thanks for being here. Next Friday, we're going to do a Christmas stream, so we're going to do all Christmas music next week. Um, yeah, thank you to my patrons. Um, thank you to my members. All that support really does go a long way. For example, for things like very expensive harp strings, <laughs> among other things. Um, but I do really, really appreciate it. And um, I don't know if you feel like leaving a tip. Um, I have a Patreon as well as a coffee. Um, there's links in the description. Um, but yeah, after this song, we're going to do a video premiere. It's Snowed in Town from Undertale. It's just a very sweet little piece. Um, I wanted to put sheet music out there and I was like, you know, it's a great time for a little snowy video mm, in December. So we'll do our ending song and then we'll head over to the premiere page. So without further ado, here's Lon Lon Ranch. And then premiere time. All right. to the new video but if you're not there is a link in the pin chat as well as in the video or live stream description here um, so we'll head over there in just a second also um, if you don't mind leaving a like and or comment on the new video it does help a lot so I'll see you over on the premiere page in just a second thank you so much for coming and we'll see you soon <laughs> 